today we're gonna do some work in my husband's race trailer. Come on in, let me show you what we're gonna do. Hey everybody, today we're in my husband's race trailer. He's asked me to do a little organizing thing for him in his big toolbox. Now he went and bought the black foam sheets. And what he wants me to do is cut out an area where a tool would go. Now the nice thing about this is it's layered so we can kind of cut layer by layer. Um, so it'll, it should be a little bit easier to handle. I've brought a couple of things I'm going to use, maybe as templates or at least something for a straight line here. Maybe some silly objects you may have at home. But anyway, this at least will give me some kind of a straight line, um, a template of some kind. So you can use whatever you have around the house. You can come up with something. A good straight edge that you can keep sharp, okay? This one here is one that you're just going to cut off the ends on. Whenever they're on the road, it seems as though everything in these drawers just moves around. Now. My husband is very organized and this is driving him crazy. So I'm going to show you what the inside looks like now since I brought the trailer home. He loves being as organized as I am. This drives him nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the foam to fit the size of this drawer. And then I'm going to take each one of these tools and I'm going to probably take like a Sharpie or something, mark out where I want it or I'll do some cutting. So let me get things set up and then we'll get going. So the first thing that we did was I had him cut out the size that's gonna go in this drawer. So I'm gonna make sure that it fits. Okay, it'll have a nice snug fit to it, which is what we want. So he's gonna cut the other ones. And in the meantime, we've taken all the tools out and we're gonna lay them out and try to cut them individually, not the shape of the tool, but like a rectangle for this kind of thing. If that doesn't end up working, we're going to go ahead and just create a box with each specific type. And I'm gonna show you what that is. If you can see how we've got things laid out down here, these are in a case, so I'm gonna just cut a big rectangle out so that that will fit into it. All of these different screwdrivers, um, I'm going to try to cut individual. So I'm gonna start marking, I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna start marking and then we'll start cutting. looks like now. When I first started I was using a red marker but I didn't like that it still left marker lines so we switched over to a black marker and if there are lines you don't really see it. So on to the next drawer. Well we just opened up the second drawer and this is what we found another huge mess. So I'm going to organize them by the brand or set, I guess I should call it, and then we'll get this one done as well.
big reveal. Everything has a home. to check. I may have forgotten to cut one out. Just stuck a couple of pieces of the foam there after you just cut one little hole. That worked out perfect without having to cut everything. This already had its own case, which is kind of cool. So everything should stay put while the trailer is moving. Same thing, he needed those loose anyway, so we just put a little piece here. Same with that. Look at this. Left a little space in the back, just in case we wanted to make any more nooks. show you these again. Ouch. Now there are four of these, so there are four holes. Here, 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 and here. And then a bunch of little miscellaneous items that we just needed like little holes for. So here's the toolbox completely finished. And now we have um, drawers that are very specific to a tool. This way, as the guys are working on the car, it makes it very easy to be able to find out where the specific tool is they're looking for. So I did have trouble getting these words to uh, adhere on, and I don't know if it's because of the texture of the toolbox itself, but I eventually got them to work. And it's permanent vinyl, but we all know permanent vinyl can be taken off. So if they do change their mind on where something goes or we need to add or change something, pretty simple. I think they're gonna be a lot happier when they get to destinations and they don't have to redo all of the tools to try and find something that they're looking for. Well, I certainly hope this organizing video is something that you would enjoy doing yourself. Try it with your husband's toolbox. Try it with your own toolbox. Come on, girls. You got to have a toolbox. So thanks for watching. Oh, come on with me. We're going to have some fun.